How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and today we are going to be doing an update to a video we did a few days ago talking about the text reveal of both season 3 and the first character of that season, Ultra Instinct Goku. Now due to the nature of it being a text reveal, we didn't exactly know what form of Ultra Instinct Goku was going to take and we certainly didn't know how he was going to look throughout his games. But now with the visual of the skin available to us, we can confirm that Ultra Instinct Goku will be taking on his mastered Ultra Instinct form with the silver hair and he will maintain his battle damage state throughout the entirety of the game. This is most likely the best case scenario for this character because even if you're upset it's another Goku, you can't really deny that he's going to look visually very different from a majority of the cast just because one, he's the only character in the game that starts with battle damage from what I can remember right now. And two, the silver hair will obviously help him stick out a little more than the Omen would, even though personally speaking, I think my favorite form of Ultra Instinct is probably the Omen with just the blue shirt on. But Ultra Instinct is still Ultra Instinct, so I'm sure that trailer is going to get me hyped regardless. As far as other things we get from now having the scan visually, it isn't all too much. We just get that official render of Ultra Instinct Goku in the game. If you aren't aware of what Dragon Ball Fighters renders are, it's just that picture that shows up in the character select screen or pretty much anywhere else where you're selecting a character other than in game. These are just the 2D drawing assets to go along with those characters, basically. We also get another very strong reminder down here at the bottom that we already covered in the text leak, but just to mention it again, is that while the information in this scan is very limited, it is just confirming Ultra Instinct Goku will be in, and if you want to learn more details about Ultra Instinct Goku, you should really watch the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals in February. And now this is the part of the video where I kind of want to break away from the text leaks and actually dive into just what I'm expecting. Now do understand that none of this is confirmed, I literally don't know anything other than what they did last year, and kind of using that to set my expectations for this year. But again, most of this going forward has not been confirmed. All that's confirmed as of now is UI Goku will be announced and revealed more at the World Tour Final. With that said though, in my opinion, there is absolutely no way that Ultra Instinct Goku is coming to the game alone during those said finals. Now, I don't know if they're going to go the two character route with the surprise reveal like they did last year with Jiren and Videl. To recap very shortly, we had a very similar situation with Jiren. I know a lot of people right now with Ultra Instinct Goku are, I've seen a lot of people that are confused. They're like, why would they reveal the character before uh, the finals? I just don't get it. And that's kind of what I said last year when they revealed Jiren going into it. But then it turns out during the trailer right after the Jiren reveal, we got a completely unexpected twist seeing Videl. You could probably hear it in a VOD somewhere when they're revealing it during the tournament, unless those people had seen the leak of like, that came out 30 minutes pr uh, previously. But people seeing Jiren were like, hey, he looks cool in game. But then when they saw Videl, they were like, wow, that came out of nowhere. And it's because for the most part, it did. I mentioned that just because I've seen a lot of people that didn't want UI Goku and they're kind of upset that now they know about him and they have to wait and they won't even feel surprised. But I can almost guarantee to those people that there will be a surprise in store for you unless, you know, something botches and there's a leak somewhere. My only question right now is will they go with UI Goku, the T.O.P. stage, and that dramatic finish with him, Frieza, and Jiren? Or will they just kind of shortcut the stage like they have done in the past and just go with a second character reveal? Both seem equally likely to me. They have been slowing down on character releases compared to Season 1 with Season 2 only releasing one at a time, with the exception being Jiren and Videl, and it being a shorter season overall. So less initial characters are definitely in the cards, but even when you consider that, they did announce announce Gogeta Blue and DBS Broly as well, so who knows, they could do another thing of just announcing a character, and then later going on to actually make some assets for that character. If that were to happen, my main guesses for what characters would come over would probably be mostly Tournament of Power related, just something that could roughly equate to the level of hype of UI Goku, think characters like maybe Kefla, God of Destruction Topo, or even someone like Tournament of Power Roshi, I think. As long as they're Tournament of Power related, I think they have a good chance of getting announced alongside of them. And I'm not saying that Season 2 reveals stuck to that rule but something about this with the leak dramatic finish and now UI Goku, it just seems like this is going to be a T.O.P. themed event. Especially when you look at the way that they have done marketing for these two tournaments, they've both been Goku versus Jiren themed. Uh, so hopefully, I thought it was going to happen last year, but hopefully they come through with that tournament of power stuff. Anyway, all of this is just to say that if you're worried about not being surprised during the World Tour Finals, I can assure you that there really is just nothing to worry about in that category. And I think that wraps up everything I wanted to say regarding these scans and what I expect going forward. Forward, and that I just cannot wait to go through season three with all of you. I'm looking forward to the reveals and the trailers, all of that good stuff, which I'm sure we'll get February 8th through 9th. Make sure to go down below into the comment section and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about getting this version of Ultra Instinct Goku? Does this kind of ease your worries about him looking too similar to other Gokus in the game? And what other surprises are you excited for and that you expect to see at the World Tour Finals? Other than that, while you're down there, if you like these videos and want to stay up to date on everything, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as I cover all 
all of this stuff as soon as I can. You can also check out more Dragon Ball Fighters videos where I actually play the game up on your screen right now. Other than that, I have been Datsudoya. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.